What's up? What's up? All right. Here we are again. So you are bugging me number five, the dung beetles. That's what we're doing this week. Left that one a surprise. You know, the insects that you see rolling around the little balls of crap. You know, that's what we're doing. We have our guest here, uh, Luke. What's up, guys? So Luke and I were actually going to do this yesterday, uh, and then we spontaneously decided to do it today. What were you doing yesterday? Yeah, so yesterday we were just uh... – me and my girlfriend and a couple other people we knew, we actually kind of got into a little something. We just, we kind of talked about it for a little while and we decided to make it happen. We kind of made these care packages, so to speak, for uh, homeless people. You know, we made them lunch, you know, sandwiches and some, you know, healthier options for snacks and, you know, some non-perishables. And we actually put it all in bags, you know, like deodorants and soaps and travel size toothbrushes and toothpaste and stuff like that. And just kind of things you don't think about, you know, you always want to help out a homeless person and give them, you know, couple bucks or food or something like that but we just made little care packages and we kind of walked around india and found you know until all the bags were gone so it was kind of fun but otherwise we would have done it you know yesterday but i was kind of busy right on well and it was a good cause a good cause too and it's actually a great segue into what we're about to eat so the dung beetle and so the food maybe next time you prepare for them could include maybe one of these yeah <laughs> maybe. Uh, so i wanted to check this out so we're about to eat a dung beetle and again the whole purpose of all of this is just to maybe promote this and maybe it'd be cool to have it somewhere in Indiana to have like you know a place to get these insects because nutritionally they're great for you they're just hard to look at hard to eat that's literally the only thing that is bad about these so we want to show you that okay so for a hundred grams of a dung beetle you have 17.2 grams of protein and you got 4.3 grams of fat so <laughs> per 100 grams that's actually an incredibly um, healthy snack here. You know, the crickets that we had first were 12.9 grams of protein, and the grasshopper we just had is the healthiest, by the way, at 20.6 grams of protein. So you could use these to supplement <laughs> most meats that you eat. Again, they're just harder to eat. And so, just like last episode, Luke and I are really excited about this. We're going to take shots of dung beetle because we only do the good shit around here. <laughs> and so, that's, that's how we're doing it. So, here we go. Let's jump right in. I'm going to open these. He hasn't seen these yet. And by the way, I have always opened these live for you guys. This one I didn't for a reason because it felt like it was broken. And I thought these would be <laughs> big. I thought these would be huge, exactly like the rhino beetle we had. And that was rough. But I opened these anyways, so you'll see what I'm talking about here. They're kind of the shape of like an M&M. Do you want to hold your hand out? Oh my God. Yeah, let's get these out here. Oh. <laughs> and so the, again, exactly what yeah, you're looking at. It's oh like my God. It. It's like a raisin. Yeah, like the oh. so they're small little guys, and we'll oh give you a closer God. up view here. Oh. But yeah, the worst part about the opening these things is that it is exactly what you think you're gonna open. It's oh literally God. a little little beetle. Oh, they're gonna be so nasty. This kind of feels like the rhino beetle in the sense that it's very stiff and hard. And again, we're getting these dehydrated alternatives to a snack at like a you know gas station, Doritos, beef jerky, peanuts that you get. <laughs> They're not there yet, but those are all flavored <laughs> and packaged by big companies. This is not by any means that big of a company we got these from. Thailand <laughs> Unique is the company we got these from again. Um, we'll yeah. give you a close-up here. Let's see if you can get it. Yeah, there we go. So it has little horns on it, you can see. Um, <laughs> these things, they, they crawl around, and like they, they push, and they roll. Yeah, these are literally um, you know, the poop. <laughs> that's what this, Yeah, that's exactly it. I thought they were way bigger. I, and so these are oh, literally M&M yeah, size size. things and healthy. Mm -hmm. So got to keep that in mind. And so we're going to get ourselves a little, I might make a mess here, but let's see if we can get some of these in a cup. Oh, yeah, you already got yours in a cup. So just, you could just, I mean, are we trying to fill these up? Yeah, or? you're going to get a little bit more than that. Oh, God. So again, guys, the dung beetle. Oh. <laughs> uh, so we got salted. Oh, my. These are, again, same as all the other ones, very basic snacks. Uh, dehydrated, salt, salted, and cooked dung beetle, to be specific. Again, it's <laughs> Thailand unique from Thailand. If you ever want to check something like this out or do it yourself, I guess. <laughs> feel free. Feel free. Um, oh, man. You know, I think I gave you way more than these. But I'm nervous. See, this was the one I was the most nervous. I've had these for a minute. And I've been very <laughs> nervous about this because your other ones are just creepy. Yeah. But these roll poop and stuff, and so that's different. But yeah. again, to remind you, people eat these. It's very common. It's it's so crazy. People eat this dung beetle in some places, and they're like, "Wow, we got we got this thing. This is cool." <laughs> we're, I don't know. We're struggling. Yeah, I mean, in a situation like that, I understand. But 
we're just willingly eating them. Yeah, <laughs> it's so, a thing somewhere else. Like it's just a thing. I mean, I get it. I can't. It's so crazy. Just, Every time I do this, it blows my mind. All right, you know, man. We're doing this. This one's like cut in half. <laughs> Okay, so hopefully this will be good. Grasshopper was awesome last week, but if you're down, I'm down. Again, happy St. Patty's Day, Luke. Let's make it happen, man. All of it? Yep. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Almost identical to Cool Ranch Doritos, 100%. Really? No way. No way. <laughs> no. <laughs> Nasty, dude. <laughs> yeah, right? Dry. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> mm. I don't want to swallow it. I will say this. Not the best taste, to be honest. Yeah, this not is not horrible. the best one. I don't know if we go bad. Though, man. I call it bad. Nah, dude. The worst thing about this one is it actually wasn't as dry. I know. They were almost juicy. That's what's creeping me out a little bit. <laughs> almost juicy. <laughs> like, it was juicy, right? There was something else in there. That was whew, way more moist of a snack. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was the salt. It just kind of salivated, and it just – because I could definitely taste the salt. 100%. But aside from the salt, dirt. That's what I tasted. Yeah. And a little bit of poo. Just a little. <laughs> no, just a little bit. Just a little just a bit. Tad. That was awful. All right. Would you have it again? You're starving. There's nothing else to eat on the planet. You can eat dung beetles. Well, I mean, there's nothing else to eat. I have to. So <laughs> I think that seems like you like them. No, it doesn't. It seems like I don't want to die. Okay. Well, so. Of all the bugs so far, this one's definitely not up there on my taste. For some reason, they weren't as dehydrated, it seemed like. Could have just been what they are. Um, I'm going to give it a thumbs down. The grasshopper's still the only one I've liked. Um, like, I really like that. Uh, sorry this wasn't, you know, the real. To be honest, though, honestly, I, don't, I wouldn't do it again willingly, like, just because I can. But, you know, if I was out there in another country, and that was, like, a common thing, I'd probably eat it again. What you know, if there's, like, other flavors? And... What if you what if you like a nice well, okay. honey dung beetle? I will say this. A honey dung beetle. How about that? <laughs> that sounds awful. The, my, my thing with this is that I like those better than the crickets. I thought the crickets were just like no matter what seasoning the crickets had, right. they were they were dry, they were Weird dirty, aftertaste. they were plain. That I could at least taste salt. At Weird least a little. Like it though. gave it gave it a little mm, to it that wasn't horrible, but I don't like Definitely it. Definitely not a peanut. Wouldn't do it again. <laughs> not a peanut. <laughs> no way. All right. That was it, Luke. Thank you. Yeah. Everyone, we're signing off. Again, this was uh, You Are Bugging Me, number five. Uh, next weekend, we're going to do another one. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what the insect is yet. We'll have another guest. Uh, everyone, thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for liking them. Again, Luke, thanks. Everyone, take it easy. Thanks for having me.